Well, last year, the Los Angeles Lakers lost to the Boston Celtics in six games. The turning point, perhaps, that 24-point lead they blew in game four. This year, the Lakers hoping for a different outcome. We're determined to try to come up with a better result. You know, the last two times we've been there, it's uh, been a short end of the stick. So, you know, hopefully this time around be better. Kobe Bryant averaging 34 and a half points a game during the two regular season losses against the Orlando Magic. He admits he's not getting a lot of sleep at night, but it's given him a chance to consider the enormity of the task at hand. Jeremy Schapp has more on Kobe's quest for title number four. The Lakers teams that Shaquille O'Neal and Kobe Bryant tag-teamed into a dynasty are now distant memories. Not long after winning a third consecutive title seven years ago, LA's most dynamic and dysfunctional buddy franchise split up. Shaq took his auxiliary policeman's badge and his ball and returned to Florida. Bryant remained in Hollywood. In Miami, O'Neal won a fourth championship. And the Miami Heat are champions of the World. This time with Dwayne Wade in the role formerly played by Bryant and before him Penny Hardaway. Bryant, meanwhile, is still waiting to win his first title as the star of the Lakers franchise. Whatever other storylines unfold during the finals, that's the key to the drama. Kobe's quest to throw off the Shaqian shackles. Remember that in each of the three championship seasons, O'Neal was far more dominant than Bryant, scoring and rebounding more in the regular season, winning the finals MVP award all three years. But for the last five seasons, it's been the Kobe show in LA, which is what he wanted. In that time, he's been a hero. Kobe, inside the three-point arc. Kobe Bryant has hit a shot at the buzzer! <laughs> and a heel. His former and future coach Phil Jackson wrote that he was selfish and uncoachable. When he was charged with rape, his image took a much harder hit. Disgusted at myself for making a mistake of you know, adultery. The criminal charges were dropped, but he reached an out-of-court settlement with his accuser. Bryant was fully rehabilitated as a public figure only when he helped lead the U.S. to a gold medal at the Olympics in Beijing. He'd said that doing so would mean more to him than winning an NBA title. What he probably meant was that winning three titles as the junior partner at the firm of O'Neill and Bryant wasn't how he wished to be remembered. Now he gets another chance to be the man, to show Shaq and everyone else he can win without him, to forge a championship to which he can stake a larger claim. Winning those other titles might not have meant as much as winning Olympic gold. Winning this one surely would. Shaq and Kobe, Kobe Shaq, Shaq tweeting today saying, and I quote, that's right, I'm saying it now, I want Kobe Bryant to win title number four, spread the word. What would title number four, Jalen, mean to Kobe's legacy? That only has three less than our good friend Robert Story, <laughs> and I know the math. So, But ultimately, Kobe Bryant is a basketball historian. He looked up and idolized players like Magic Johnson, whose statue is in front of the building, as well as Michael Jordan. And he understands to be compared to the all-time great it's all about championship bling, especially to win one without Shaquille O'Neal. There's been so much discussion and so much talked about that he would really love to make that happen. I'm telling you, this is one of the things about Kobe Bryant that people don't understand. He's the hardest worker you're going to see in a gym. He goes out and he puts 100% in everything he does. And to win this championship without Shaquille O'Neal is going to be such a phenomenal thing for him that it's going to probably rank right under having his kids. So it's going to be great if he can win this championship without Shaquille. Over the last 12 months, been a great run for Kobe Bryant, albeit the runner-up finish last year to the Boston Celtics, won the gold medal in China with Team USA, perhaps adding a championship to his resume.